Mesopotamian mythology describes the Anzu as an eagle-like demonic creature. As a result of a storm with forceful winds and flooding waters, Anzu was born among the rocks of a mountain. Anzu was depicted as a massive bird with outsized, broad wings, sometimes with a lion's head. Anzu is depicted with shark's teeth and eagle's claws in the Sumerian epic Lugal Banda. A lion-headed monster bird with a moor fire and a breath of death is described in the Babylonian epic of Gilgamesh. A Sumerian poem is known as Anzu in modern editions praises Ninurta's heroic valor. Ninurta rescues the Tablet of Destinies from the wicked Anzu bird in this story. It describes the world immediately after creation, after introducing Nanertu as a powerful and fierce hero. Water was not yet carried by the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. The sky was clear of clouds. The land did not receive water from the springs. Positions had not yet been assigned to the gods. There were no sanctuaries for their worship. Anzu's appearance took Enlil, god of the winds and divine order, by surprise. The god of wisdom and water explained to Enlil that Anzu had been created by the flood and that by employing him as the doorkeeper of Enlil's throne room, he could harness and direct his energies. Next to Enlil's seat of authority, Anzu gazed with envy at the Tablet of Destinies, which was one of the objects that empowered Enlil. Enlil was able to determine the fate of the world through the control of the Tablet. The tablet was stolen by Anzu, determined to possess the throne's powers and command the gods of heaven. In order to recover the tablet and fight Anzu, the gods gathered to seek a warrior. Anu asked for volunteers. Adad, Gira, and Shara were nominated to take up the challenge when none came forward. Anzu turned all three into clay if they faced him. As a result, the gods became despondent. The plan was finally devised by Ea. Before the assembly, Ninkor Sok, the mistress of the gods, was called and exalted. It was asked of her that she volunteer her firstborn child, Nanurta, to battle against wicked Anzu and restore authority to its rightful place. After accepting the mission, Nanurta confronted the thief, seething with fury. The tablet had granted Anzu magical powers, enabling him to repel Nanurta's advance on the mountainside. Nanurta's arrows were turned back. The bow frame vanished, and the wood turned into forest trees again. Bow strings became sheep sinews, and arrow feathers became new bird feathers. Ninurta was encouraged by EA's words that Anzu had successfully defended himself, advising him to be relentless in his attack. Ninurta was instructed to cut off Anzu's pinion feathers when he saw the monster's wings drooping from exhaustion and fatigue. Ninurta was to shoot his feathered arrows at the monster when Anzu's magical powers waned, and he called for his feathers to return. Due to the feathers, the arrows would be attracted to the target by the monster's own magic. Ea's advice was heeded by Ninurta. Anzu shot his arrow at the monster after Ninurta cut off his pinion feathers. Both the heart and lungs of the monster were pierced by the arrow. Ninurta took hold of the Tablet of Destiny after winning. Ninurta's victory was announced to the gods in their assembly. In anticipation of the tablet's return, they rejoiced. As possession of the tablet gave Ninurta the power of kingship, he hesitated and initially refused to comply. The story ends with Ninurta returning to the assembly with the tablet after a break in the text. Among the gods, he was praised for his valiant conquering heroics.